I'm Mariska Fernandez from Tribute Entertainment, and we are here with Alex King from the movie Hubs and Shaw, the Riker coordinator. So, welcome, Alex. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, first of all, tell me about the cars that were used in filming the McLarens. Oh, what do you want to know? Uh, we, we had uh, four 720s's, and uh, two were equipped with hydraulic handbrakes in order to perform some of the, the sequence that you've seen in the film. Uh, which is quite an unusual thing to put in a car like this because they're uh, an automatic gearbox uh, so you don't have the ability to dip the clutch so we had a great relationship and help from McLaren who basically gave us a development ECU that we replaced with the factory ECU that, um, I don't know, to, to simplify it, it, it increased the parameters of the car's restrictions so when you pulled a hydraulic handbrake it didn't shut the car down or it didn't turn it into limp mode and kept us going. That's amazing. Yeah. So you know there's a 720S and then a 600 as well, right? Yes. yes. So what about the stunt work? You obviously didn't use the actual cars for some of the stunts that were used for the film, right? Yeah, we did, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you did? Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, there was an exceptional driver, stunt driver, who, who did pretty much, uh, pretty much everything. Yeah. That's amazing. And tell me about the day that Jason came in to drive one of the cars from the racetrack. Okay, so he had a, a, a grin from ear to ear, pretty much like anyone does when you get into one of these. But um, uh, we met him when we, we had the first two cars out just for testing, uh, and he came up and drove. Uh, we were driving on this straight, and I, I remember because he they, they've got this launch mode, <laughs> and uh, I was down the end of the track just making sure that no one sort of came out of nowhere. Anyway, so I just heard the car, and I'm like, it's definitely he's just definitely done launch mode. <laughs> anyway, he came down, he looked out the window and he had this massive smile on his face and I'm just like, I heard, I heard what you, and he was laughing, so, oh my God, this is so cool, it's so fast, you know, because it really does, it comes out like a catapult. Okay, what about your favourite memory from filming on Hubs and Chow? Uh, amongst many, um, I think just, just uh, getting to the first day of filming is, is a great memory because you've got so much stress and pressure building up to your first day of shoot that, you know, um, you want to make sure that everything's ready on time, and, and there's always, there's, you know, there's always time restrictions, and uh, you never have enough time, unfortunately, in prep. But I think the first day of filming is always a relief, uh, and uh, I think the next best day is when we get to the almost like the the baddie um, hangar, you know, when he comes in uh, in in Chernobyl, and you've got all the vehicles around, because we bought built so many so many like 30 range rovers i think we oh, we wow. rebuilt and the rock crawlers and and the big baddie trucks that you know that we've got uh that we have in the sequence as well so there was i think the rocks in that and he smashes out through the building eventually in one of those big man yeah. trucks so i think seeing all those laid out in in like this really badass showroom yeah. i think was probably another good day that's awesome which is your favorite car 720s 720s maybe 600 oh, lt maybe the gt Okay, and which car do you think I look like I could drive? Any one of them. Okay, that's cool. Definitely in your in your uh, leather jacket and your boots. I wouldn't recommend driving in those oh, boots. Oh, I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't drive in these. But thank you so much for the chat. Pleasure. Wishing you all the best. Thank, thank you very you. much. Nice to meet you.